Good morning and welcome to our Monday Memories at HPL. February 8, 1915, the movie Birth of a Nation opened. The movie's genre is about war, history, and drama. And speaking of movies, the library has a collection of movies filmed in Texas, about Texas and or the story happened in Texas. So if you are interested or curious about these movies, you can check the Facebook post last January 29, and we have the complete list of our collection and, or you can call us at 830-426-5333 to reserve the movie. Also, on February 8, but this is in 1933, the coldest temperature ever recorded in Texas occurred in the town of Seminole. It was negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what can you say? Texas has unexpected weather all the time. Today's Monday memories will be about the early schools of Medina County. The people of Medina County, many of whom were Catholic immigrants, wanted school from the beginning. But it was more difficult to find teachers than it was to find the means to pay them. The funds were provided by the Texas Constitution. A school did open in 1848 in Castroville and was in session for a short time. The first permanent parish school that is recorded began in 1868 when Mother St. Andrew Felton established a matter house of Sisters of Divine Providence in Castroville. The school was conducted in the one-room church still standing on my property. All races of pupils were welcome. In 1870, a school law was enacted in Texas to comply with the demands of the Constitution of 1868, which provided for a very centralized system of education for all persons between the ages of 6 and 18 years. The law was not enforced in many places, but it was in Medina County. The Sisters of Divine Providence was the only non-cloistered order of sisters in Texas at that time were qualified and ready to teach in public schools and Catholic communities if this was the only way to reach children. The four-room rack house that was built in the church property served as the free school for all children for many years. In February 1890, Mother Florence opened Providence Academy, which included high school classes and was specially designed for boarding students at Castorville Convent. The school did not succeed because the Castorville students attended the St. Louis School. While the Congregation of Divine Providence went through a series of educational projects, at the convent of the following years. St. Louis School remained permanent. Father Alphonse Heckman built a two-story brick school in 1925 during the pastorate of Father Jacob Lenzen. A junior high school was added. The school building was enlarged twice and the high school was fully accredited. The school was closed during the pastorate of Father Leo Gortz in 1968. The Sisters of Divine Providence has taught there all through its history. There were four Catholic schools that opened in Medina County at that time. First was the Habe Settlement. It was in 1874 when the heirs of Andres Habe family gave St. Louis Parish a lot for school in what came to be known as Habe Settlement. This is seven miles north of Castroville. Here are first one sister, Sister Mary Rose Bader, a native of Castroville, taught. Later, two sisters live in the parish school during the week and spent the weekend in Castroville at the mother house. This continued until mid-90s when, as Mrs. Rosalie Haley Chapman put it, the old people ran out of children. The pupils then attended Hieronymus School of Boarded in Castorville. 
The second school was the Hales, Texas. This was the second school to open in Medina County in 1870. It was also a county-supported school in a Catholic community and was taught by the Sisters of Divine Providence. Because there was no resident priest, the sisters withdrew after the first year. Delegation of parishioners went to Castro later and asked for sisters to return. In 1883, two sisters returned. Father Wirtz persuaded the parishioners to build a new school, which was blessed August 4, 1908. In 1917, Sister Dolores Cardenas conducted the school for Mexican-Americans until 1926. It became a public school today. In Hondo, Texas, this is the third school, the school Pacific Railroad, which came through Hondo in 1881, donated land in the new Hondo town site to the Catholic Church. In 1892, Father Matthew Melcher, Melzinger, began planning for a school which opened in 1893 with two sisters of divine providence. When an epidemic of diphtheria struck Hondo in 1909, the school was closed. Father J.J. Myers, the first resident, came in 1909. He was the first resident pastor that came. The sisters returned in 1920 and conducted the school until 1924, when the first graduating class had three students. Father Thomas Flynn, who became pastor in 1925, obtained Sisters of the Holy Ghost to teach. He con constructed St. John's School, Father Harold Ellinger, remodeled St. John's School, and purchased the convent in 1960. St. John's School was closed in 1972. The fourth school was uh, in Divine, Texas. In 1900, the Sisters of Divine Providence opened a school in Divine and continued to staff it until 1930, when the enrollment dropped to 25 pupils. The School for Latin Americans began in 1921, grew to 72 pupils in 1928, but in 1930 it had also dwindled to 34. The missionary catechist taught in Divine during summers and during the years 1968 to 1970. Lacoste, Texas. The parish school was opened in Lacoste in 1913 at the request of Father Mazur, with Sisters of Divine Providence as teachers. The school grew to include high school, but the secondary department closed in 1937. The new school was completed and blessed in 1950. The school continued until 1966. The missionary catechist of Divine Providence came to work in the parish in 1965 until 1974. There are other schools that were established by our early settlers, and we will be learning about these next week. See you then. Goodbye.